Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about charge limit. Charge limit is a new feature introduced with iPhone 15 that allows you to choose a percentage to where you can charge your iPhone to, right? Anywhere from 80 to 100. And you may be asking yourself, why would anyone not want to charge their iPhone to 100%? Well, in this video, I wanted to talk about why I'm currently using 90% charge limit on my iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now, the idea behind this feature is to improve the lifespan of your battery so that you get better performance from your device and to retain battery health so you don't have to replace the battery of your iPhone more often. So, I wanna talk about my iPhone 15 Pro Max here on the left, which I did use for an entire year after the release of the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Obviously, I switched over. So, from September of 2023, I've used this personal iPhone 15 Pro Max every single day, and it was charging to a limit of 80%, okay? So 80% charge on this device for an entire year of heavy use, and I want to show you the stats nearly a year later, okay? Or after a year later, I should say here. So battery health is at normal, as you can see right there. The charging or maximum capacity is at 87%. The charging cycles is 493, as you can see right there. And it was first used in September of 2023. Okay, so that makes it one year of full use, a little over a year because I haven't been using this iPhone ever since the 16 Pro Max. So I've used it for an entire year. Now, Apple's claims is that this iPhone's battery is designed to retain at least 80% of maximum capacity of the battery health at 1,000 cycles. So we have nearly 500 and we dropped to 87, so a good 13%. So if we was to add another, I guess, 500, give or take, I think this battery health should be anywhere from 73 to 75, I would like to say. So I guess Apple's claims are somewhat accurate. They say under ideal conditions. I did stress this iPhone a lot for an entire year, but there you guys have it, 87% of maximum capacity with 80% charge limit. So now this year with the iPhone 16 Pro Max, I wanted to try something a little different. I wanted to bump that up from 80 to 90%. So ever since I purchased this iPhone 16 Pro Max, I've been using the charge limit to 90%. And now keep in mind, even if you select a percentage below 100, on Apple's website, they do mention right there, you see that the iPhone will still charge to 100% sometimes in order to maintain accurate battery stats of charging estimates. So nine times out of 10, it will charge to the percentage that you choose, but occasionally it will charge to 100 to maintain those accurate stats on the battery of your device. So this year, I'm going to try that 90%, which is an extra 10% up from last year. And let me show you the current stats three months in because it is December and this iPhone was released in September 2024. It is December 2024. Obviously, the battery health is at normal. The maximum capacity is still at 100. We have 121 full charging cycles, and we've used this iPhone for a little over three months now as of the filming of this video. So I wanted to check back a year later. Make sure that you check back here on the channel in September of 2025 to see what those numbers look like. 80% versus 90%. Let's see which one will do better a year later with this new feature, the charge limit. And if you wanna join, you can go ahead and set your device to 80, 90, 95, whatever you choose and see if the actual lifespan of your battery has improved with this new feature. Let me know if you're going to be using this one. Make sure to come back a year later. We'll check back to see on the stats. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.